the indoor stadium Hua Mark in Bangkok. We approach our final contest of this seventh day of action here in session number 14. Well, if that is a familiar family name, that is because this young man, Put Haifa Hashesh, is part of the fighting family Hashesh, the 22-year-old from the Jordanian capital, Amman. In his third and final attempt to qualify for Paris 2024, his opponent, in his first attempt to qualify for the Olympiad later this summer, and that is 18-year-old Nicholas Pavlik of Poland. What a wonderful moment for him. Our final, our scoring judges at this final contest of session number 14 are from Chinese Taipei, Guatemala, Algeria, France, and the United States of America. So Mr. Roberto Savide of Argentina is our referee. So a 4-1 split decision victor over the man from Bulgaria is what was earned by Ashesh. Nicholas Pavlik with a bye in the first preliminary round, the round of 64. So we're underway then. The final contest of this 14th session of boxing is round of 32 action in the men's 51 kilogram weight class between boxers from Jordan and Poland. An all orthodox affair. A man wearing red, the taller of the two boxers, is Hut Haifa Ashesh. His older brothers, boxers, competed on the international stage and indeed the Olympic stage. Getting to work with a good left hook to the body. A smaller figure with the close cropped hair is Nicholas Pavlik, just 18 years of age, still competing in age group tournaments, won the Polish Youth National Championships last year at 51 kilograms, and participated in the European youth event in the Armenian capital, Yerevan, at the same weight last year. What a finalist in the World Youth Championships the year before that. What an opportunity for him to try and qualify for an Olympic Games, having been selected by his National Federation and National Olympic Committee. This is shaping up to be a good first round. Both fighters having success and throwing punches. A man in blue from Poland is having a little bit more success. just tries to establish his range behind the jab. So just beyond the halfway stage of this opening round, reaching forward behind a double jab right cross is Pavlik. And the action just on the edge of range, breaking that stare down is Pavlik. Triggering front foot for eight just near his own corner couldn't find the range and indeed oh, oh my goodness now was that a clash of heads because stepping forward behind the shot was a shesh and it was a forceful head clash which caused Pavlik to dip at the knees done well to get back to his feet now let's hope his senses haven't been scrambled by that because the two boxers committing, coming forwards at the same time, doubling up the impact, but it was forehead to forehead, and Pavlik dipping at the knees after that coming together. Again, it's Pavlik who is invariably breaking deadlock, as the two men are just outside of punching range. Closing seconds of the opening round. Work to the body by Ashesh. The boxers have spent the majority of the contest just outside of range looking to counter the precious few point scoring punches. I happen to agree with the man in red. Good high for Ashesh. He's done enough to take the first round. It's Pavlik who has taken it on a 4 1 split. Well, Ashesh deserved a little more than that. 
could be a split the other way, but it's Pavlik who has taken it. Accurate shot selection on that forward for Ray from the man in blue. Let's see if we see the head, the head clash. Oh, it yes. It was. So we're going to the second round then. This 22-year-old Kudhai Frashej hopes to continue the family tradition of becoming an Olympic boxer, emulating the accomplishments of Zayad Hashesh, who was a Tokyo Olympian, and Hussein oh. Hashesh, who's a two-time Olympian. Well, he's going to have to up the tempo here because he conceded the first round on a 4-1 split against the compact figure of Nicholas Pavlik. Nicholas Pavlik now... In a contest in the opening round, we were looking to play counter-puncher. Terrific work to the body from Pavlik, catching the advancing Ashesh. And the onus is on Ashesh to try and do something different. And that is playing right into the wheelhouse of Pavlik, who is using every inch of the boxing ring up on his toes as he circumnavigates the roped arena. That's a good left hand slung into the body by Ashesh. Nice double jab, right cross from Pavlik. And again, check left hand not too far away from the man in blue. Pavlik's just really starting to open up now and, and let his shots go, let his punches go. And he's catching his man at will. Pavlik, a European youth silver medalist at 51 kilograms. And Sofia, Bulgaria in 2022. And then finding himself around the back of his opponent once again. Shea spoken to about turning his back on his opponent. The two-shot combination to the body from Ashej. Pavlik was well, cuffed by the inside of the left glove of Ashej as Ashej continuing to dig away to the body with his free right hand. Well, that could well be interpreted as a final talking to for Pavlik for rabbit punching and on the resumption the same infringement has happened once again and just as I suggested oh. the rabbit punch has resulted in a stern talking to that coming immediately on the heels of the previous warning which was delivered in no uncertain terms from the referee but that's because Pavlik possesses such fantastically quick speed feet quick feet that he's able to spin around the target and it leaves Ashesh looking out over the ring Pavlik behind him right on cue same thing happens again but he cannot let punches go into the rear of Ashesh's head. That's rabbit punch territory and those blows are illegal. Pavlik just needs to be careful now because he's had a point taken off. He doesn't want any more. With right hand slung into the body from Pavlik. And again, whatever score he a cruise in this round will be subject to minus one and the point deduction will take place on the scores. Oh. There's the move once again. The dip in the pocket and the step through, leaving Ashesh looking out over the ring and Pavlik behind his back. But he's, he has learned the 18-year-old because he didn't let any shots go on that occasion. With that burst of shoe shine punches to the body from Ashesh. Well, let's take a look at the scores then because Pavlik's scorecard is going to be subjected to minus one how did the five scoring judges see round number two? So look at that. We've got scorecards of 19 points to 18 for four of the five scoring judges in favor of Pavlik. Ashesh leads 19 points to 18 for judge number one. So the contest still up for grabs, but the onus is on Ashesh to try and tie things up by taking the final round to force the realm of countback, trailing 19 points to 18 after the point deduction for repeated rabbit punching was assessed against Nicholas Pavlik. Chase has got all the work to do in this last and final round. Pavlik just needs to a bit more than bout management. He'll keep his, keep his head in the game. Don't do anything complacent. And especially don't lose any more points. If he loses this final round for, for on a 10-9 verdict, well, that will take us into the realm of countback, and the judges who have it all square will be 
asked and required to state their preference. So Pavlik has got to remain competitive in this contest. You see him disengaging, getting beyond range. There's a nice left hook landed by Chase during that coming together on the inside, but a beautiful left-right combination from Pavlik landed with bent elbows. And you'd expect, oh, that's a nice left hook landed from Ashesh. But look at the competitive spirit evidenced by Pavlik firing back immediately. Pavlik up on his toes, turning southpaw while he's beyond punching range. Now back in the orthodox stance as Ashesh continues to press. But again, given the context of the scorecards, there's a lovely move off the ropes to get himself from the confined position back to the space of the middle of the boxing ring from Pavlik. But he's got to continue to compete because a 10-9 verdict across the board will take us into the realm of countback. Time has been called. And that looks like a final talking to in the direction of both of them for failing to step back on the command of break. Public looking for a right hand on the inside. Again, that's in danger of straying into rabbit punch territory. He's looking good, is Pavlik, but he's not doing very much. Takes a left jab to the body. There he steps in with a left right of his own, does Pavlik, but it was inaccurate. And beyond the halfway stage, I think he's walking a bit of a tightrope in how he's going about this third and final round. Yeah, he really is. I feel Ashesh might be just edging his way back into this round. Now Ashesh is going to be spoken to about... Oh, oh. my goodness. Oh, well, now the man's in real trouble. Now the man is in real trouble. Oh. And I think he's going to have to step on the gas now because he elected to go into bout management mode up on his toes, showcasing his ability to glide around the boxing ring. He's been hit with a point deduction in round number two for rabbit punching, hit with a point deduction in round number three for excessive holding. I think he's really unfortunate to pick up this second point deduction. But that means, again, he can score no more than nine. So if Ashesh wins this round, it's going to be 10-8 on the cards. And it's going to be almost impossible for Ashesh to lose this round now. Because Pavlik, if he wins it, it will be 10 minus one. That'll be nine. My goodness, this one incredibly close in the closing seconds. And again, because Pavlik entered bout management road mode for the first two and a half minutes, practically, of the round, he could well be declared as the loser of this round anyway, which would render it 10-8 and see Ashesh go through. Oh, my oh. goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, what are the judges going to return here? I happen to think, well, you see, I think that he's going to be declared a loser here is Pavlik. It's incredibly tight. But again, Dr. Point in the second round, Dr. Point in the third round, wonderful boxer. Perhaps unfortunate to pick up that third and final round. There's disgruntlement in that blue corner. The coach is not particularly happy. But let's get the verdict. Oh, my goodness. Remember, Pavlik led 19 points to 18 for judges 2, 3, 4, and 5. And he's been doctor point in the third and final round. I think it's going to be enough to send the man in red through. We could enter the realm of countback. Judges are state obligated to state their preference. And there it is. But Haifa Ashesh keeps his ambition of emulating his brothers, Zayad Ashesh and Hussein Ashesh, and becoming an Olympian, keeps that ambition alive by prevailing in an incident-filled encounter against the incredibly talented teenager, Nicholas Pavlik of Poland. Hit with a warning and thereby a point deduction for rabbit punching in the second round. Hit with a warning and a point deduction in the third round. And that sees Ashesh prevail on a 4-1 split. And look at that. Ashesh taking the final round. For three of the five scoring judges, you take that one-point deficit from the warning into account, and that is how Haifa Ashesh has prevailed on a 4-1 split. 28 points to 27 for all five judges, four of them for Ashesh, one of them for Pavlik, and the teenager from Poland, desperately unlucky. But he entered bout management mode, which we said was a risk, and it's come back to bite him. Yeah, Pavlik's going to be kicking himself after 
after this bout, having the two points taken off. You could see his his coach is in the corner, really upset with with him. He, he, it was it was his bout to lose, and she 